Uh, yeah. Mariam Alvi, just wanted to ask you because we are also in the middle of the hijab debate in India uh, at the mm -hmm. moment. Uh, now, how, how do you see it in the context of that there in Iran, women fighting for the right, uh, you know, to, to, to not have interference, uh, not be told what to wear against the hijab. Uh, here some would say there are those who are fighting uh, to wear the hijab. I see it as a question of choice, whether it is there or here. How do you see it? Thank you for having me, Nidhi. See, the debate is not about hijab. It is about a woman's right. I think we've all agreed on that. So the choice to wear what she wants, to practice what she wants, to express herself as she wants, whether with the hijab or without the hijab. And you know, my work takes me across cities. Across, I meet hundreds of women uh, through my work, to ages of 14, 24, 40, uh, across all walks of life, career women, non-career women. But the one baffling question that I get every time is, what is this compulsive need to control the women's life? And uh, the common thread is the role of the government imposing views in matter of faith. And this is deeply disturbing because it strangles personal choice. The government is nobody, no, no entity to dictate religious or secular standards. So Iran, India, Denmark, France, the positioning on hijab is actually masking an arbitrary dictating, uh, an, arbit an arbitrary dictation. And this overrules, necessarily overrules uh, the woman's choice. And this is what we need to stop. Why should I be treated differently if I wear a hijab? And why should somebody else be punished because they choose not to wear the hijab? So the government and its machinery has no footing in deciding what is progressive, what is regressive. And I don't understand this glorified thekedari that the patriarchal uh, religious dictation, uh, which has in this, you know, in this, which has become so intrusive. But what